Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Um, well, just thank you very much, Rodrigo, because I see that you're always on time. Thanks for that. So I have a question. Can you hear me? Um, no, no, thanks, teacher. Okay. Do you hear me? Can you can you listen? Yes, I can listen. Good. So we're just gonna wait probably for the others because I'm pretty sure your classmates are going to connect in a moment. Okay. And for to join us. If not, we're gonna start. That's not a problem. So just remember we just have one hour. So how was your weekend, uh Rodrigo? Um fine, fine. If in the weekend I pressed every weekend. Oh all weekend. Oh, that's great. So it means Saturday and, and Sunday? Um Saturday uh work on only four hours. Four hours, okay. I am yeah. guessing probably from eight a.m. to twelve, something like that. Um, work from from four p.m. Mm -hmm. to to nine p.m. Wow, that's good. I mean, not bad. Yes. Not that bad. And then on Sunday, you you just relax, I guess. Yes. Okay, that's great. So I see that Luis Chavez already joined us. Welcome, Luis. How are you doing today, Luis? Nice, teacher. Good great. night. How was your How was your weekend? Good. Good. Great. More or less. So uh, what happened? Why more or less? Um, problems on the work. Okay, I understand. Yes. So, but thanks so much for being here. Uh, I understand that probably some of you work and that's completely understandable. Probably that's the reason why some uh, some of your classmates are not always on time, but I do appreciate the fact that you're always here on time. That's good. So I was saying to Rodrigo that uh, if, well, we're gonna start even though the others are not here. So I guess the others are going to join us probably in a moment. So question for you too, Rodrigo and Luis. Do you remember the last class that we had on Friday? Mm, mm, more, uh, more or less than two. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 vimos palabras de de cómo es que se llama las ah se me se me, se, se me han ido pero fueron varias palabras que nos 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 puso a poner tres cada uno mm -hmm. okay what about you Rodrigo what do you remember um I remember different words mm -hmm. and I remember use doing and does use doing and does. different Verbs. verbs. Okay. Um, for example, I can use do for first person, and I can use does for three person. Okay. Okay, that's great. So I see that Luis uh, Luis Montano already joined us. Hello, Luis. How are you doing today? Well, we have two Luises here. So one is Luis Chavez and the other one is Luis Montano. So I will probably call you by your last names. I will tell one Montano and the other Chavez so we don't get confused. Because if I say Luis, both of you are going to say, hey, because both of you are named uh, Luis. So Luis Montano, are you there? Hi. Hi. Hey. Good evening. How you doing? How are you? Well, I see we have uh, Christian too. Hello, Christian. How are you doing today? 
Um, hello, good night. Um, uh, fine. <laughs> fine, right. thanks. So, uh, mm -hmm. This day I work. You work, okay. Um, I work in Aguachapan City. Jesus Christ, wow, that's that's far. Well, I don't know if you live there, but that sounds sounds far, suena lejos, but I really don't know. <laughs> so, so, más All o right. menos. All right. Eh, luego, tempt. Sí, luego. ¿Cómo se dice luego? Then. Then, um, okay. I come my house. Um, oh, okay. I say my dinner. Dinner? Así es. Dinner? Uh -huh. and, and I prepare for give the class. For the class. <laughs> of okay. English. Okay. Good. So I think that today is going to be manpower. We have only men today in the class. So guys, well, on Friday, the class that we saw, it was about simple present, right? Okay. Yes, you remember, correct? Si se recuerdan, right? So if I ask you questions right now, I guess everything is going to be okay because you're going to give me the answers to that. Am I correct? Hello. I, I I don't understand. <laughs> you do not understand. Well, I see that we got Georgina today. Hey, Georgina. How are you, Georgina? Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, good. Well, guys, um, let me tell you something before we continue with the class. When we want to say uh, good night, uh, like good night, something like that, when we want to say buenas noches in English, uh, we only say únicamente decimos good night cuando ya nos vamos a ir a dormir, okay? Other than that, de otra forma, que se nos quite eso de decir good night cuando vamos a saludar. Porque si usted me dice good night, yo automáticamente voy a entender que usted ya se va a dormir y que yo me voy a dormir, por eso nos estamos diciendo good night. So, if you want to say, si quieres saludar de buenas noches, porque todavía no se van a dormir, sino que solo van a saludar de buenas noches, we say it in English, good evening, ok? Good evening. That's the way we say it. Do not forget that, please. Que no se les olvide. So the next time, if I ask you something and you want to say buenas noches, you're going to say, hey, teacher, or I don't know, hey, good evening. Not say good night. Because I can understand you. Yo les puedo entender si ustedes me dicen good night. Yo voy a entender that you want to say, okay, good night. But... In English, we have to be a little bit, a little bit careful because if we say something like that, that might be something not good. So just pay attention to that, okay? So today, guys, we are going to uh, also take a look a little bit about the simple present, but uh. Last time we saw the simple present with uh, doing questions, correct? Vimos cómo hacer preguntas, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. So, what's the difference or what are the two types? ¿Cuáles son las dos formas? The two forms of, of making questions with the simple present. Can someone tell me? Alguien puede decirme las dos formas, the two forms? Mm -hmm. Long answers. Long answers. What else? 
Respuesta corta, no sé cómo se dice. Short, short answer. Short, short answer. Short answers. Okay. So, uh, let me see. Uh, Luis Chavez. Can you give me, Luis Chavez, one example using a yes or no question in simple present? Mm, I don't remember, teacher. Jesus Christ, Luis, what's going on? ¿Qué pasa, Luis? Why don't you remember? What about you, Omar? <clears throat> Good night, teacher. Okay. How do we say? Eh, ¿Cómo decimos, chicos, para decir buenas noches? Ok, Omar. We, uh, in, in English, si tú no te vas a dormir todavía, decimos good evening. Si tú me dices okay. good night, yo voy a entender que tú te vas a dormir y que me estás diciendo good night porque yo también me voy a dormir. So, ambos nos vamos a dormir, por eso nos estamos diciendo good night. Si tú solo quieres saludar de buenas noches porque no te vas a ir a dormir todavía, tú dices good evening, ¿ok? Ok. All right, just for you to pay attention to that. So, Omar, can you give me an example, Omar, using a yes or no question in simple present? Ok, for example, we can say, do you learn, do you learn English? Do you learn English? That's okay. And how do you answer that? ¿Cómo respondes a eso? Yes, I do or no, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay, that's that's good. Thank you very much. Now, can someone give me an example using the, uh, the other type of making questions in simple present? If nobody wants uh, to say anything, I will select one person. Voy a elegir una persona. Uh, for example, uh, do, uh, do you play the guitar? Do you play the guitar? Okay. Is that, but a yes or no question? Excuse me? Is that a yes or no question? Uh, ah, yeah. yes. Yes, so I do. What, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, no, I do. No, I don't. Okay. okay. All right. So let me see, Rocio. I see that you just got connected. Rocio, how are you, Rocio? Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Más o menos. <laughs> okay, more or less. All right, so do you have an idea of what we're talking about? We're talking about questions in simple present. Uh, Omar just gave us an example using a yes or no question, but can you give me an example using an, the other type of questions that we can do in simple present? Or you don't remember either. Uh, do you um? Voy a usar otra. Does he play uh, video games? Does he play video games? Okay, I mean that's a good question, but. Am I, you are using a yes or no question once again. Me están utilizando preguntas de sí o no. ¿Cuál es el otro tipo de preguntas que podemos hacer, chicos? WH question. WH question. So, can you give me an example, Rodrigo? Um, for example, what do you eat at lunchtime? What do you eat at lunchtime? Good, that's, that's great. So Georgina, if I ask you the question, what do you eat at lunch time? What would you answer? ¿Qué responderías, Georgina? Mm, 
Uh, I am launch time uh, 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. Okay, uh, let me see. Um, Claudia Maria. Hello, Claudia. Hello. How are you? Fine. You're fine. Okay. Now, uh, we were asking questions or trying to verify how much do you remember about the W, uh, the questions that we can ask in using the simple present. So Rodrigo's gave, Rodrigo gave us an example saying, what do you eat at lunch time? So I guess that's what he said. So if I ask you the same question, what do you eat at lunch time? What would you say? ¿Qué dirías o qué responderías? Uh -huh. Hello. Can you listen to me, guys? Si me escuchan o estoy hablando conmigo mismo. Am I talking to myself? Yes. Yes, sure. So, looks like. Eh, Ustedes han sido el único grupo con el que me ha costado verdaderamente hacerlos hablar a todos. So, from now on, a partir de esta semana, les voy a empezar a dejar actividades a todos para que el siguiente día todos hablen. Why? Because the reason why we're here, la razón por la que estamos acá, no es solo para escuchar la explicación, chicos. We're here because we want you to speak the language. Queremos que ustedes hablen en el idioma. It's not only me. No solo soy yo, porque en mi caso yo ya lo hablo. ¿sí? So it's your, your turn, your time to speak the language. Su tiempo de hablar el idioma. ¿sí? So try to participate as much as you can. Traten de participar lo más que puedan. Other than that, de otra forma nunca vamos a mejorar nuestra pronunciación. Remember. If you do not participate, that is taken into consideration. So I'm telling you these things now. Se lo estoy diciendo desde ya. Si no participa, su participación es tomada en cuenta como que si usted viniera a clase. Si no participa, lo vamos a tomar como que usted no estuvo acá, aunque usted estuvo en la videoconferencia. So please, take that into consideration. Porque nosotros enviamos notas cada viernes. So we're taking everything on that. So please, I, I'm going to tell you this right now. Se los voy a decir así desde ya. Because I need you to speak the language or try to participate. I know that probably some of you, entiendo que alguno de ustedes, probably you're just arriving from, from your job. That's completely understandable. Es entendible. So if you're working, I know that you might be tired. And you probably, you don't want to be in the class because that's an extra time that you will probably be resting at home or just relaxing or probably just eating. But you have to be here. And I understand, yo entiendo que esto es un sacrificio doble, but believe me, it's worth it, vale la pena. So if you then, if you have the opportunity to speak English, that will be something great for you. Why? Because that will that is going to help you out to get probably a new position or it's going to help you to get a new job, a new job where you can get paid more, donde pueden ser pagados más. So that's your opportunity, guys. Don't, don't waste it. No la pierda, please. I'm only telling you this because I know that you can do it. So let's start with the topic for today, guys. And today we're going to talk a little bit about vocabulary. So today, the vocabulary that we're going to see is going to be vocabulary about house and places. So let me just share the screen with you so you can have an idea of what I'm talking about. Let me see, just 
Give me a moment. All right. Yes, here we go. All right. So can everyone see the, the screen? Can you see it? Can you guys see the screen or not? No. No? No. That's super weird because I can No. Can you see it now? <clears throat> Yes, I see. Okay, good. Thanks for thanks for confirming. So now, uh, as you can see there, it's our fifth class today, and uh, today, as it says there, vocabulary about house and places. So uh, obviously, today we're gonna learn a little bit about how to say some things, how to know some differences, or how do we say different things that we have in our house. For example. Uh, we're going to start and we are going to have a brief definition about what is a house. So in this one, I would like someone to help me reading this brief definition so we can move on to the next part. Can I have a volunteer or do I have to select someone? Okay. Me. Me. Um, okay, we're going to go with Omar and next time we're going to go with Georgina. Okay, Omar, go right now. Let's go. Okay. What is a house? A house is a building where you meet, live alone. Or it could be a multi-family house that you share with other families. That was a good pronunciation, Omar. Thank you very much. That was good. The only word, la única palabra that you mispronounced, que no la pronunciaste bien, is this one. That we say might. Might. Yeah. Right, but then everything was really good pronunciated. Thanks so much. So as you can see there, that's a brief definition about a house. Why? Because we are going to talk about the parts of the house and different areas that we have in the house. Also, uh, different places that we have in the house. So we're going to learn a lot today. Probably some new things that you didn't know how to say. So now we can also have a brief definition about what's an apartment. And I will need two people. I will need Georgina to help me from here, desde la pregunta, till the first period, hasta el primer punto. And then I will need another person from here till the last period, hasta el punto número dos. So Georgina, I need you to help me with the first part, please. What is apartment? Mm -hmm. the, the term apartment, can be generic yeah, generic. Apply to any residential mm -hmm. unit unit inside a building. Okay, that was good. Thank you very much, Georgina. Now I can see Rocio that you raised your hand. Rocio, help me please with the next part. Okay, the, bulk, the building can be a house, mm -hmm. townhouse, large residential building, and a very condominium, high rise, where owner sublet their unit. Thank you very much. So now let me read it to you. It says, what is an apartment? The term apartment can be gener generically applied to any residential unit inside a building. The building can be a house, townhouse, large residential building, and even condominium high rise where owners sublet their units. So basically what it's saying there, guys, is that an apartment can be, you know, we have some sort of apartments in El Salvador. If someone of you lives around Sacamil, so in that area, if someone of you lives there, you can see those are apartments, the ones that we have in El Salvador. Of course, there's some more, uh, but those are the most common ones that we have in El Salvador. So now we'll move on to the next part. And here we have, these are, guys, the parts of a house. 
So we're gonna have, we're gonna start with the list of vocabulary. So we're gonna see each one, the pronunciation. So I'm going to be moving on, me voy a mover, and then I will ask the pronunciation to some one of you. So I'm pretty sure that some of you already know how to say some words. Algunos de ustedes ya saben cómo decir algunas cosas. So that's not gonna be difficult. So, uh, all right, so we start with the first part, which is the living room. Living room and bathroom. Do you have an idea what a living room is? You can see it on the picture. What's the living room? ¿Qué es el living room? La sala. The sala. See, it's something that we that we call sala. And then what's the bathroom? The bathroom is dormitorio. Dormitorio. All right. So that's that's good. So we're gonna move on to that part. Now, oh, let me see. All right, so here we have the dining room. Dining room, we call it to what? Comedor. Comedor, exactly. Bathroom. Esa toda la sabemos, le llamamos baño. Now, let me ask you a question. ¿Alguien sabe cómo decimos, puedo ir al baño, por favor? May I go to the bathroom? May I go to the bathroom? Write it down. Let me tell you this. When you were at school, cuando estaban en la escuela, probably, probably <laughs> les dijeron que para ir al baño decíamos, may I go to the bathroom? Can I go to the bathroom? And so on and so on. In English, guy, or in United States, if you say, si usted dice, may I go to the bathroom? Es como que usted se vaya a duchar y luego vaya a hacer sus necesidades. So that's the bathroom. Ese es el bathroom. Este que vemos exactly aquí, exactamente en la in the photo, in the image. Está la ducha, the bathroom. ¿Cómo le llamamos solamente si usted va a ir a hacer sus necesidades? Let's say number one and number two, del uno y del dos. So how do we say? No decimos bathroom. Le llamamos restroom. So, para la próxima vez que usted quiera ir solo a hacer sus necesidades, usted va a decir, may I go to the restroom. Ya no vamos a decir, may I go to the bathroom. A no ser que usted vaya primero a bañarse o primero a sus necesidades y después a bañarse. Understood? Si entendemos? Yes. Good. So it's very important, es importante que vayamos aprendiendo esas diferencias so we don't make any mistake. No cometemos ningún error. If we have to need you. Teacher. Yes, Christian. Luis. Yes, teacher. Oh, yes. Luis is that, oh, I saw it was. So what, what, what is the difference made a can? Made? I'm sorry. Made, el que acaba de poner, a uh, can. Made a can. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I think I understood. Uh, let me see. So you're talking about may, which is this one, and can, which is this one. Let me see. This two, right? Yes. Okay. May, if you say, may I go to the restroom, is because you want, you are polite. Eres una persona muy educada. Y estás diciéndole con respeto a la persona in front of you, podría ir al baño. It's like, may I go to the restroom? Es lo mismo. With the difference, con la diferencia es que uno es muy educado, muy polite, y el otro es como en un sentido más común. Like, can I go to the restroom? Es como que yo tengo confianza a ti. Somos amigos o nos conocemos from, e, uh, from X or Y de un X o Y place. So I tell you, hey, Luis, can I go to the restroom? To me, this is just you can, porque ya tenemos confianza. Es un sentido más común. But if I tell you, may okay. I, it's because I'm being respectful. Estoy siendo muy respetuoso. With you. Teacher, mm -hmm. um, other form is cool. Could, yes, we can use could too. Podríamos decir could. Could I go? 
Here I go, este es un término medio, es decir, tú estás eh, como, es decir, nos vimos, nos encontramos en una clase por primera vez, es la primera vez que ustedes me ven, quieren ser en medios, quiere decir que no tan educados ni tan, ni tan ya de confianza, es como un nivel medio, ustedes me dicen, hey teacher, you know what, could I go to the restroom, podría ir al baño. So that's medium term, término medio. It's not tan eh, polite, but not too social. You know what I mean? Si entendemos la diferencia. Yes, sir. Thank you. Good. Yes, sir. So now let's move on to the next part. So we got here the hall, which is the hall, como una pared, or this part, we call it the hall. Or we have something like this. And the garage. The garage, obviously, you already know what that is. It's a place where you put your cars, or sometimes there are some people who has washing machines, que tienen como washing machines there, or something like that. But uh, everyone knows what a garage is. So we have the attic. The attic, what's the attic? What's the attic? El ático. Ático, o techo. Ático o techo. Yes. That is something that we don't have in El Salvador, obviously. But it is important that you know what that is. So just let me play this here. And obviously the kitchen uh, that we have, right? The, that's something that we all have in our houses because it's very fundamental. Now, we're going to move on to the next part. And also, guys, now, uh, this thing, this little thing, is the toilet. A esta cosita, al aparato, uh, por, la cosa, por la cosita esta, la cosita blanca en sí, we call it toilet. Al inodoro. Exactly. Al inodoro, a la cosita blanca, le llamamos eh, toilet. That toilet. toilet. But el espacio en sí es el restroom. ¿Sí? Hay que saber diferenciar entre restroom, bathroom, and toilet. Toilet is only the thing. Es solamente the, the, the little thing, el inodoro, like the white thing. Now, we're going to go to the stairs. We know what the stairs are, right? Las gradas, whatever you see uh, something, or escaleras, that we call it in El Salvador. So... We got the stairs in some in some houses in El Salvador and in some others we don't. So we got the garden. Those uh, things, guys, that we're checking right now are parts of the house. Are some parts of the house. So uh, here, we're going to move up with this one. Even though it's, it looks like we say patio in Spanish, we say that. But in English, we have to make the pronunciation or the accent, which is a little bit different. In English, even though, a pesar que es, se ve como que dice patio, y dice patio, y es patio, como nosotros lo decimos en español, but in English we say patio, patio. So we got to understand, or we got to make the pronunciation as much perfect as possible, tan perfecta como sea posible. So even though, aunque, se vea como patio, usted no va a estar hablando con un americano y le va a decir, oh, the patio. They are not going to understand you. They will say, what is that? You say the patio. If you say the patio, oh, the patio. That's different. So we got to do that. So do you have an idea what the basement is? Um, <clears throat> sótano. Sótano, exactly. That's, that's what we call basement. We don't have those things in El Salvador. Probably some houses do, but not all houses in El Salvador uh, have a basement. Why? <clears throat> United States or some other countries, there are some, you know, uh, natural situations that happen. And so that's the reason why some of them decide to have a basement. So they can go there whenever something bad happens due to the climate changes or something like that. So this one, how do we say this in English? We say corridor, corridor, no corredor, but it sounds like that, but we, we're gonna say corridor. 
So we got to do the pronunciation as I was telling you. Now, let me see. Um, Luis Chavez, can you make the three pronunciations that we have here? Luis Chavez. Sorry, teacher. Repeat, por, please. Can you do the three pronunciations that we have here? Patio. Mm -hmm. Basement. Basement. Mm -hmm. Corridor. Okay. Let's see. Let me see someone else. Christian. Yes. Hario. Mm -hmm. Basement. Mm -hmm. Con tercera. <laughs> y carrier. Okay, let me see Rocio. Rocio one, Rocio two, Rocio three. Are you there, Rocio? Rocio. Yes, yes. Okay, Rocio, we lost you for a moment. Okay, can you please go ahead and make the pronunciation of these three words? Patio, basement, and corridor. Okay, we, you did it great so far. We only, we're, uh, we're having some issues. Tenemos un poquito de problemita en decir patio, porque esta A no suena como A, sino que como E. Patio. Patio. That's the way we say it. Patio. Yeah. So we're having a little bit of issue on that. But it's okay. So we're going to move on. And here we have some parts, otras partes of some, uh, you know, some other parts of the house where we don't have some of them in El Salvador. For example, in El Salvador, we don't use chimney. No utilizamos chimenea, why? We don't use chimney. Listen to the pronunciation. Chimney, windows, porch, door, curtains, and balcony. And of course, we call the roof, roof. So now let me see. Vamos a escuchar a Omar Ivan. Uh, sorry, teacher. Uh, can you please repeat again? Uh, no, I just want you to make the pronunciation of the words, de todas las palabras que tenemos acá. Mm, okay. Chimney. Mm -hmm. Windows, mm -hmm. porch, mm -hmm. door, mm -hmm. cornice. Sir, say that again. Cornice? Curtains. Curtains. Mm, balcony. Balcony. And roof. Roof. Thank you very much. Now let me see Luis Montalvo. You there, Luis? Chimney. Mm -hmm. Windows. Porch. Door. Curtains. Say it again. Curtains. 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 Mm -hmm. Curtains. Balcon. Roof. Okay, thank you very much. Now, I would like to listen to Claudia Maria. Okay. 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 Curtains. Curtains. Mm -hmm. Balcony. 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 So. Mm -hmm. In this one. Oh. Roof. Okay. Good. So, uh, I'm pretty sure that these these parts of the house are are easy for you. Son fáciles para ustedes. Why? Because the majority, la mayoría, 
already know how to use or how to say some things like those. Now, we're going to move on. Vamos a ir por cada parte de la casa, each part of the house, y algunas cosas que podemos encontrar there. So this one, aunque se ve que se escribe sofá, in English, en inglés no decimos sofá. Hacemos un acento diferente y decimos sofá. Sofá. So we say living room. Oh, that's a sofa. Coffee table. Bookshelf. An armchair. So, Carlos Roberto, let me listen to your pronunciation, Carlos Roberto. Sofa. Hmm? Book chief. Shelf. Shelf. Hmm? Coffee table. Air chair. Armchair. Armchair. No, it's not chair, it's chair, solo chair, armchair. Armchair. Mm. Una vez más. Armchair. Armchair. No es chair, solo como chair. C -h -a C-H-A-Chair. Armchair. Chair. Correct, that's good. So now, uh, let me see Rodrigo. Can you please go ahead, Rodrigo? Sofa. No. Bookshelf. No, it's not shelf, it's shelf. Bookshelf. Okay. Coffee table. Okay. And armchair. Okay, uh, thank you very much, Rodrigo. Can you please, guys, turn your microphone off? Puedo alguien por ahí con su micrófono abierto. Can you please turn it off? Hello? Well, so I can still listen to some. All right, so we're still in the living room. Aún estamos en el living room, and we have the cabinet. We have the DVD player, we have the telephone, and we have a shelf. So now, vamos a escuchar a uh, Georgina. Georgina, let's go, Georgina. Um, cabinet. DVD player TV uh, cell phone shelf good thank you very much now let me listen to Christian okay cabinet DVD player okay TV okay Telephone. Mm -hmm. Shelf. Thank you very much. Now let's move on. And here we have the carpet and the cushion. Cushion. What do you know what that is? Eh, ¿Cómo les llamamos en Spanish? I don't know how to translate that. It's like Cojines. exactly. Yeah, exactly. Cojines. That's that's what we call cushion. So we say carpet, which is this thing, como la alfombra, and Cushion, uh, that is like cojín, you said. That's pretty much it. Thank you very much. Now, we're going to move on to the bathroom. Nos vamos a mover al bathroom. And here, we have the bed, the night table, the computer, the desk, ward, ward row, ward row, and toys. Now, Rocio, I would like to listen to you. Let's go, Rocio. Teacher, no veo nada. You don't see it. Really? The others? ¿Qué hay de los demás? Can, do you see the, the screen? Yes, yes, I can see. Yes. Probably it's your internet yes. connection, Rocio. Probablemente sea la, la conexión del internet. So don't worry about it. Le vamos a preguntar a Omar. Omar, thank you very much, Omar. Bed. 
computer, night table, wardrobe, toys. That was a good pronunciation, sir. Good, good, very good. Now let's see uh, Luis Chavez. Bell. Night table. Mm, okay. Wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Computer. Mm -hmm. Toys. Best. That's good. Thank you very much. Now we're going to move on to the next part. And here we're still in the bathroom. Aún estamos en el bathroom. Here we have a pillow. A pillow is something I would call almohada, books, CD player. Que estos ya no existen, but those are more like with the new technology that we have, those are no longer, uh, they don't longer exist. But creo que alguno de ustedes, si no es que la mayoría, tuvimos el honor de poder ver alguno de estos. CD player. So now we have the lamp. We have the chest of drawers. Chest of drawers, chest of drawers, and video games. Now, I would like to listen to Carlos Roberto, and then we go with Rodrigo. Carlos Roberto, let's start here. Pillow. 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 Mm -hmm. Books. Mm -hmm. CD player. Mm -hmm. Lamp, chess of drawers, mm -hmm. video games. That was a good pronunciation, Carlos. Thank you very much, Rodrigo. Pillow, books, CD player, mm -hmm. lamp, okay. chest of drawers, good. and video games. Good, that was really good. Thank you very much. Now we're going to move on to the dining room. Vamos a mover al dining Oh, Georgina, do you have a question? Georgina? Uh, what, what is traduction, traduction uh, chest of drawers? Chest of drawers le llamamos a la, ca a la caja maestra de los... Eh, Eh, de los estas ese tipo de muebles como que llevan muchos how do we say that cajones gaveteros gaveteros yes lo, lo llamamos chest of drawers no tiene una traducción literal solo son gaveteros múltiples es decir tienen muchas valga la redundancia gaveteros so that's why we call them chest of drawers thanks for thank you no, thank you for asking. That was good. Now we're going to move on to the dining room. Si tienen preguntas, chicos, así como Georgina, pregunten. Ask. Okay. So we're going to move on to the dining room. And here we have a table, a base, fireplace. We have the chair. We have the lamp. Aunque... A esto también le llamamos de otra forma. ¿Alguien tiene una idea de cómo le llamamos este tipo de lámparas? Probablemente nada. Candelabro. Candelabro. There's a song, hay una canción que se llama Chandelier. No sé si alguien la ha escuchado, but... Chandelier is the way we say, es la forma en que le llamamos a este tipo de lámparas that are candelabros. So we call them chandelier. So we have the table, the base, the fireplace, the chair. We also have chandelier or lamp. And of course, picture and painting. Now, I would like to listen a volunteer. Me gustaría tener un voluntario. Volunteer? Me. Go ahead, please. Table. Mm -hmm. Fireplace. Mm -hmm. Base. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Painting. Okay, good. Picture. Okay. Chair. We say chair. No, men no mencionamos la I. We say chair. 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 Mm -hmm. Lamp. Mm -hmm. uh, ch chandeliers. Chandelier. Chandelier. Mm -hmm. Chandelier. Okay, good. Rocio, can you also help me with that? Yes. Okay. Table. Mm -hmm. Base. Mm -hmm. Fireplace. Mm -hmm. Painting. Mm -hmm. Picture. Mm -hmm. Chairs. Mm -hmm. Chandelier. Mm -hmm. Lamps. That was good. Thank you very much, Rocio. Now we're going to move on to another part of the house. Vamos a mover a otra parte de la casa. And here we are. Aquí estamos in the bathroom. So we got the toilet. We got the bidet. We got the shower. We got the mirror. We got the wash basin. And we got the bath. Okay, so toilet, bidet, shower, mirror, bath. So, and wash basin. A este chicos, wash basin solo es el que se ocupa para lavar manos. Wash basin. Okay, so can I have uh, Christian? Okay. Toilet, mm -hmm. shower, mm -hmm. mirror, mm -hmm. bidet, bidet, good, wash basin, okay, and bath. Okay, do you have an idea what a bidet is? Excuse me? Does anyone know? It's in general. Pregunta en general. Do you oh, okay. have an idea what a bidet is? Mingitorio, será? No, that's not a mingitorio. No. no, a bidet is... Eh, es como cuando ustedes van a hacer sus necesidades y el inodoro, no es un inodoro, bueno, sí, pero tiene como un chorrito. You understand? Si entienden la idea de lo que les estoy diciendo? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes. You don't use paper. No se utiliza papel. So it washes automatically. Es un como un lavador automático. Let's say it. So that's a bidet. That those only exist, únicamente existen in part of Europe. In parte de Europa, and also some of them in United States. Because uh, you don't use toilet paper. No utilizan papel de baño. It's only water. You know, because they they wash your, your parts. So let's move on. And we're still here in the bathroom. And we have a rug, rug, soap, bin, toilet paper, Shampoo, shower gel, rug, soap, then toilet paper, shampoo, shower gel. Now I would like to listen to, um, let me see. Let me see. Rodrigo, are you there? Okay. Roll. Swap, soap, soap, mm -hmm. bean, mm -hmm. toilet paper, okay. shampoo, shampoo, shower gel, shower gel, so shower gel. Okay, in this one is not choice, show shower gel, shower gel. Good, thank you so much. Now let's see, let's listen to Luis Chavez.
Miss Chavez. Wrong. Rug. Rug. Mm -hmm. Swap. Soap. Soap. No, soap. Soap. Mm -hmm. Bean. Ben, okay. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Shampoo. Shampoo. Okay. Shower gel. Shower gel. Now, thanks so much. Let's move on to another part. And we're still here on the bathroom. Here we have the hair brush, hair brush, tooth brush, tooth brush. Vamos a ver si se recuerdan. ¿Cuál es la pronunciación que hacemos cuando tenemos TH? Zeta, como la Zeta. Exactly. Zeta de nuestro español. So we say toothbrush, toothpaste, and comb. Hairbrush, toothbrush, toothpaste, and comb. Now, I would like to listen to Luis Montano. Airbrush. Hair. Hair. Hairbrush. Toothbrush. Come. Toothpaste. 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 Okay, great. Now let's listen to Claudia Maria. Mm -hmm. uh, Mm -hmm. Two, uh, okay. Um, Calm. Great. Yeah. So much. Now we're going to go to the hall. The hall is like, uh, como les dije, es como una pared en la que podemos poner a mirror, a clothes stand, or an umbrella stand. Now, I would like to listen to Carlos Roberto. Mirror, clothes, stand, mm -hmm. umbrella stand. Umbrella stand. Okay, thanks so much. Now we're going to go to the garage. And in the garage, there's some people who have the washing machine. There are some people who got a car and a bike. So Christian, can you help me, Christian? Christian? Hello, Christian? Well, he's not there, probably. Hello, hello. Excuse me. Okay. I think, uh, the microphone. Okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> Washing machine? Wa Washing machine. 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 Washing machine. Car. Car. Bike. Bye. Carlos Roberto, can you help me once again with this one? Washing machine. Machine. We don't say machine. It's machine. Machine. Mm -hmm. Car. Bike. Bike. Thank you very much. Now, let's move on to the last part. And here we have um, the kitchen. In the kitchen, we have the fridge. Fridge. Es la forma corta de llamarle al refrigerator. Refrigerator. So, en lugar de llamarle refrigerator, así de largo, we call it fridge. So, we say fridge, toaster. We have the sink. En este le llamamos sink porque es donde se lavan platos y se pueden lavar manos at the same time. So we say sink and the freezer. Freezer. So fridge, toaster, sink, and freezer. So can I have a volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay. Fridge. Mm -hmm. Toaster, mm -hmm. 
Sink. Mm -hmm. Freezer. Freezer. Thank you very much. So we're going to stop there, guys. Uh, because of the time, we're going to stop there. And I was going to tell you that remember to keep working on the platform. This week, this week you need to start working. Necesitan los que no han terminado section number two. Terminar sección número dos y número tres. We're going to be working on those. Section, section two and section three on the platform, okay? In a platform. So if you have any questions, si tienen preguntas about any exercise of the platform, you can text in the WhatsApp group or you can send me a text message so I will help you. Si les voy a poder ayudar. Other than that, that is going to be all for today, guys. Thank you very much for being on the class and have a good night. Good night. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night.